Your affirmation should not feel silly, stupid, slow, or ineffective. So stick around and I'm gonna give you three tips to change all of that. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump in. What's happening, boss lady? I'm Tara Wagner, your belief breakthrough coach, helping you to feel great as you build your business. And I wanna tackle a problem that I see a lot in the personal development community. I hear a lot of people struggling with affirmations or I hear a lot of people touting information about affirmations that doesn't make any sense and that isn't very helpful. So we're gonna talk about affirmations that actually work with three different tips and I have a little bonus tip for you at the end, so be sure to stick around for that. Tip number one is the most important tip and it's that your emotions matter more than your words. Language is a construct. It's something that we use to express emotions and needs. Your very first language was emotions and therefore a lot of the beliefs that you're trying to change with affirmations are actually more emotional than they are practical or tangible or even describable. This is the first place that I see people really messing up. They get hung up on some juicy or spiritual sentence that they feel like is gonna solve all their problems, but if they're not connecting to it on an emotional basis, if it's not connecting to their emotional core or the origin of the belief that they're trying to change, that juicy sentence is gonna have no impact on them whatsoever. Along those same lines, if you're saying something in a very flat, unemotional way, it's also not gonna have an impact. You really need to feel the things that you are saying in your bones. If you don't feel it, it will not speak to your subconscious mind in the same way. It will be slow, it will be a little painful, it'll probably be frustrating. You're not gonna see the results that you wanna see. So emotions over words. Tip number two is about the words. And this is where I want you to focus on powerful versus positive. Everybody thinks that they have to have a positive statement, right? An I am statement. But again, because words are triggering emotions, it's more important that you're using a statement that is powerful. And sometimes the most powerful statement that you can possibly have is a negative statement. No is a powerful affirmation. I am not is a powerful affirmation. And it is okay to use what some people will call negative affirmations if it has a powerful, emotional, meaningful connotation for you. Sometimes we need to state what we will no longer allow in order to move towards what we actually want to embrace. Sometimes we gotta put up boundaries before we can start building something new. So when you're thinking about powerful versus positive, don't ask yourself, is this a negative statement? Ask yourself, is this a limiting statement? Is it a discouraging statement? Is it telling me that I can't? Or is it enabling me, empowering me in something that I can do? I would love to hear from you on this. Leave me a comment below on a statement that you've used that was powerful, that allowed you to change something in your beliefs or move something forward in your life, but that maybe wasn't a positive affirmation. Drop your comments below and let me know. Tip number three is to baby step your affirmations. Everybody wants to start off with an affirmation like, I'm a millionaire, but if you are flat broke right now and you tell yourself, I'm a millionaire, there's too much resistance between where you are and where you're trying to be. And all that happens is that you snap back to where you were. So I want you to think of this like a rubber band, okay? This is you, this is your beliefs right now. This is where you wanna be. You wanna have that millionaire mindset. If you sit there and you try to stretch and stretch and stretch, there's so much tension on this that eventually it's just gonna ow, snap. It's gonna snap back. It's gonna be a little painful, right? That's not what we're wanting to do. There's a natural limitation to the mindset that you have right now. And what you need to do is learn to just stretch it just a little bit, just a little bit. So instead of I'm a millionaire, it's I am ready to learn how to make money. I am ready to overcome my debt. I am ready to change my habits. I am open to the idea of abundance. I am starting to see abundance all around me. So on and so forth until you're finally, slowly starting to stretch your new limiting beliefs to something much bigger. Pretty soon your comfort zone around money is gonna be much bigger than this little tiny thing 
that was keeping you trapped and stuck and you know in a lot of pain so this is what we need to do with our beliefs I want you to look at your affirmations as successive affirmations starting with something that's just slightly pressing up against your comfort zone something that still feels good right because we still want that emotional state to be a positive one or an exciting one not resistance to the belief that we're trying to instill now this could take days this could take weeks months even years that's okay allow yourself the time to baby step forward this is a really important process if you create too much resistance you create too much resistance you're not going to want to do it you're going to stop in your tracks and then your behaviors are going to match that limiting belief the limiting belief of i can't do this or that's silly or that's crazy you want to slowly step forward a little bit at a time in your beliefs in the words and the affirmations that you're using as well as in your actions so again step number three is successive affirmations affirmations that build on each other over time and now i have a little bonus tip for you bonus tip number four is to combine your affirmations with aromatherapy essential oils trigger your olfactory system and your olfactory neurons to carry messages associated with the aroma directly into your limbic system. Your limbic system is where all of your thoughts, your memories, your emotions, your triggers, your beliefs are being stored. So it's gonna smell the aroma and it's gonna take the affirmation associated with that aroma, the one that you're using, directly into your limbic system. This is what makes the process faster and smoother and more enjoyable. It's sort of like a secret backdoor entrance because of how quickly it can help you to write new thoughts over old thoughts. It's one of my favorite tools that I use in my belief breakthrough coaching because honestly, it just makes my job a lot easier. I have a free guide that I created for female entrepreneurs to teach you how to do this. It includes 10 of my favorite essential oils, affirmations to use with each one because different oils are gonna trigger different things in the brain. So you wanna make sure you're using the right oil with the right affirmations and the right beliefs or emotions that you are trying to address. And you can get it for free. It's called Sniff Sniff Affirm and you will see the link up above my head as well as in the description below. Now I would love to have you weigh in and share your experiences and expertise. Leave a comment below letting us all know what tips or recommendations you have for improving your affirmations. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Please share it in your Facebook groups or with your boss lady friends or anyone that you think would benefit. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you can get more videos like it every single week. And do not forget to download that Sniff Sniff Affirm guide. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.